check it out. Blood Dow, hand delivered from Flagner Fail. I'm so excited for this. I bought some swim trunks with it too. Some stickers. Oh yeah. Let's go. Oh yeah. That's a beauty right there. I'm so excited to use this. There's nothing like being on prep and making just unnecessary prep buys. Blood owl. What's happening YouTube? I'm staying at an Airbnb right now. Just gonna get this video started. So we evacuated Houston. Uh, I had to get my kids out of there because we're going on Today's day number three without any power over there. We left yesterday and I told the wife, I was like, we got to get out of here because the house was like 90 degrees. Uh, we still had running water, which is really cool. I know a lot of people didn't have running water, um, but we had no power. All the food went bad. And if you're bodybuilding and you get thrown out of your routine, it's, it's pretty crappy. Uh, I didn't, the Monday, the hurricane hit and it was, it was a disaster. Luckily my house didn't get hit with any trees or anything. I'm hoping the power is gonna go back on later in the evening, but it never did, still hasn't. Center point is the energy company and they're saying the power is probably not gonna come back on maybe until Wednesday night, possibly, but I, I plan for always later, whatever they say, I always plan for like, 12 hours after, to be honest. So I don't believe it's gonna come on until Thursday. So we hightailed it out of there and got an Airbnb in Austin, which is really cool. We haven't been on like a vacation and actually ever since we've had the kids. So it's been like four years since we ever really went and did anything. Uh, so this is kind of cool. It's like a little mini, mini vacation. We got, we got a really nice Airbnb. Um, in Austin and it's like five bedroom, 700 bucks for four days, which is pretty cool. And just being able to sleep in the air conditioning was, it's just so beautiful. Like when a hurricane hits and the power gets knocked out and uh, even the cell phone towers were blocked out all of Monday and half of Tuesday, which was yesterday, I had zero cell phone service. Couldn't get on any apps on my phone. I couldn't text. I could only make phone calls and a lot of times those phone calls were being dropped. Um, so I was having a like, just when we left uh, North Houston where we live, I was just having to read road signs to get out of there to get to Austin, which is, uh, it was pretty, it's like a little adventure kinda. I always, I lean towards the positive side of things. Taking the kids to the aquarium out here, to the zoo out here. Uh, I found an amazing, this is probably the, and okay, I've been to Alpha Land heck of times. I'm not hating on Alpha Land. Alpha Land's an awesome gym. The gyms I go to, Hellhound Gym and Castle Barbell, the gyms I go to are freaking awesome. Do not get me wrong. But I went to this gym, Los Camp, Los Campanos. I I'll, I'll put the thing up. But this is probably the greatest gym I have ever stepped foot in. It is immaculate. And I'm talking about just how clean it is. It, it's so clean. If you ever have a chance, please go to this gym. You are absolutely gonna love it. They have a whole other, almost like side gym for people that wanna do Olympic lifting or CrossFit. They have a lounge area with kitchens, with sinks. They have a posing room with 360 mirrors set up with a posing light. It's a bodybuilder's perfect gym. It, it's, I, I was, I'm so happy and what's crazy. So I asked the guy, I was like, hey, I was wondering if I could get like a three day pass. Do you guys have that? You know, just kind of what your guys' passes are. And he goes, we, we have a $15 day pass and then it's 30 bucks for a whole week. And I said, $30? for a whole week pass. And he was like, yeah, I go, that is hella cheap, of course. <laughs> so they give you your tag and everything. And then they even got really cool clothing. I got my wife this kind of like crop. Look, I, okay, I can't say this. Cam, 
jalapenos. And my wife's Guatemalan and speaks Spanish to my kids and I can't pronounce this. And then <clears throat> I got a surprisingly, depends on the shirt, okay, but 3X does fit me, all right? Super sick. Great clothing, but phenomenal gym. I am just blown away. I know I keep, it, it's just, it's a great gym. Please check it out. Almost like a, I, I don't know why I haven't heard of this. I searched it on tick. I just looked bodybuilding gyms in Austin. And luckily our Airbnb was just um, 10 miles away from it. Amazing gym. I'm going to go there. Is I'm going there tomorrow. I'm going to go there Friday probably before we leave. Um, <clears throat> but going back to the hurricane situation, I did have a lot of stuff prepared. I had lights. Uh, I bought some Milwaukee lights to plug into my drill batteries. And then it also has USB attachments so you could charge other appliances. So I was able to charge my phone. Um, I have tons of lanterns, chargeable lanterns, uh, AAA battery lanterns. So we have plenty of lights and I always stock up on water. I stock up on propane tanks and I even stock up on camping gear. So I have this mini propane tank with tiny like pots and pans. So I'm able to warm up all of my food. And I got that years ago because when I was prepping and camping with family, I was still able to, you know, just warm up my food really quick and eat it. And those things come in deep, deep hand when situations like this happen, especially when you have kids where I'm able to uh, not really have my kids worry about anything. I'm, I'm always going to feed them. They're always going to have water. They're going to have food, hot food, you know, even though it's like a hundred degrees out there right now. <laughs> but the, the hurricane situation is just so bad. I think, and I'm not saying people don't, but I think a lot of people need to prepare for it a lot more. Um, especially if you're very unprepared, like we could still be staying there and not have any issues. But the issue is I just couldn't, I can't sleep in hot weather. And I was like, we got to get out of here. And that was the only issue. Um, but people got to prepare by barbecue. I have barbecues with huge propane tanks that I could warm all my food up and stuff like that. So uh, if you're not prepared, it's best to hightail out of there like a day before and just kind of, you know, make a vacation out of it. I understand that not everybody has that luxury. I do understand that, but buying chargeable things, um, battery operated stuff, solar, they have solar panel, they have solar generators now for like $300 where you could charge all of your appliances. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff you could do. And then what's hilarious was today, I was supposed to have my meeting with Generac I had called them, I had called them a week and a half ago and then they had an appointment to come out and give me a price estimate for a generator for my house. And then they're like, we got to cancel. We don't have any power. So I was like, okay, so hopefully I could get that Generac installed uh, before the next hurricane. I think the next hurricane is Hurricane Chris. But also the other thing was this amazing guns in here but the yesterday was delivered this flagner fail it's my new gym bag it's kind of big my wife's like it's kind of big you look like you're going camping and i was like i don't give a fuck so this is this made my day yesterday and i was rushing around trying to get out of houston but this made my day also i wanted to show you guys something i have done for years and just being a nutritionist, always trying to be eating a nutritionally dense diet, no matter what I'm doing, especially with traveling. Uh, traveling is just one of the easiest things where you could diet goes out the window, you know? So any grocery store is going to have uh, grilled, flame grilled chicken. This is what I get. They have some flavored ones, which aren't that bad. But I mean, you could plug this into like my fitness pal or carbon, whatever you're using, because there there is a little bit of more carbohydrates in here because of the flavoring. But this is already pre-made chicken, so all you have to do is heat it up. And I've used this so many times 
for like the past seven years, which is really, really cool. And then my wife always buys the steak version. It's the same exact thing. Um, a little bit more, this one has four grams of carbs per serving. So just make sure you're plugging it in because those small amounts of fats really add up. And then also I'm doing, I'm on low carb. I'm on a rest day diet today. So I don't have any carbs today, but these ones, it comes in a value pack. And I think my wife got all this at Target actually. Uh, so you could go buy any of this. This is just pre-made plain white rice. Uh, this is around the same amount as just regular rice, to be honest. So this stuff is going to keep you on track. And then you could, this one's dry, so it doesn't need to be refrigerated. But if you're staying in a hotel that has a mini fridge, putting that chicken in there is going to help. This could stay dry in a cupboard or whatever. And then also, you know, if you work two jobs or if you're, just working all the time, these are really easy go-to foods that you could utilize to stay on your diet. If you're running home, instead of stopping at a fast food place, you can just stop at a grocery store, Walmart, HEB, Target, whatever grocery store you want, and they have all of these things there. Now we're back in my garage. Uh, we went 10 days in Houston, Texas without power, and I specifically live in Northern Houston, so we were some of the last people to get our power back. Um, but a total of 10 days, we went to Austin for I think around four, I, I was there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I drove back Saturday, so I was there a total of five days. <clears throat> so then we had another five days of no power. <laughs> so luckily one of our friends got their power back and we were able to utilize their generator and AC that they gave us, which was amazing and awesome and so thankful for that. So 77 or 7553, um, really didn't have to do a whole lot with it. We used only the three small canisters daily. We rarely ever touched this because whenever we left the house, uh, we would just turn everything off and not run the generator because my lazy ass didn't want to have to change the oil all the time because you got to change the oil every hundred hours you're running it. And then this, this was the AC unit we ran into the window. We were able to keep the house nice and cool overnight. That way we could get a good night's sleep. Um, we were, we, so we ran the AC unit. We ran this fridge right next to me in the garage. Um, to keep all of our food. And then I have tons of camping gear, like cookware. I also have a propane barbecue. I have the butane um, stove tops that we were able to use for cooking. And that way I could stay on my meals through the, <laughs> through the bodybuilding prep. Um, and then we also ran our modem. So we were able to have Wi-Fi because we use Tachis, which is underground fiber optic cables. So we were able to utilize pretty much, we, we were pretty comfortable throughout the last five days of the power outage. Um, but it was pretty, it was pretty just kind of crappy, you know, when you don't have power to your whole house. And then I have a two story house, so we couldn't even go upstairs because it was so hot. It was like 95 degrees upstairs. But I just want to say, shout out to my forerunner for always being there. When we lived in California, I used to take this, I know, I have my NorCal flag and my Texas flag, but <clears throat> when I lived in California, we would go snowboarding once or twice a month. We'd always go to Tahoe. My wife and I's favorite place to go is Tahoe. Went through snowstorms with this, went through the winter storm in Texas in 2021. Put this bad boy in four wheel drive and then just drove through the ice during that day to get supplies we needed. And then during Hurricane Barrel, I had to drive and pick up supplies. And this thing is just, it's a 2008 V6 four wheel drive. And I don't think I'll ever, ever get rid of this sucker. It is the greatest vehicle. And I do my own oil changes on it, which only costs around however much the oil filter is, like 15 bucks. So shout out to Forerunner, man. Anyways, it's just been such a chaotic past 
week and a half without power. It's I, I had stuff planned, but I thought this, you know, even this in and of itself is interesting, so to speak, like just trying to stay on track, trying to bodybuild, and especially 14 weeks out prep for a competition while you have no power. <laughs> um, but I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will have more content next week. I don't know if I'm going to do another full day of eating, but doing my training day. I don't know if I'm just going to upload and talk about nutritional information, stuff that's just been upcoming, things I think I should talk about, stuff like that. But going to going to keep you guys updated on the prep 14 weeks out so by i think next week by the time i upload a video i'll be 13 weeks out but until the next video i'll catch you guys later